Hey guys, welcome back to another online lesson. This time we're going to compare and order fractions, decimals, and percents. Make sure you have your note sheet ready. Okay, first I have the rules for when we're comparing fractions. First, find the least common denominator. I'm going to refer to that in class as LCD. If you remember the rules for finding the least common multiple that we did a few weeks ago, least common denominator is going to be the same thing. Second, write an equivalent fraction for each fraction using the LCD. And I'll show you how to do that. Last, you're going to compare the numerators. Perfect. Now, now that we know the steps, let's see how they are in practice. Here I have two fractions <clears throat> that we have to compare using greater than, less than, or equal to. So here I have 5 eighths, and we're going to use greater than, less than, equal to 7 twelfths. Okay. Now, if you remember our first step, what we had to do was we had to find the least common denominator. So, I look at my two denominators, 8 and 12, and I see, what is the least common multiple? If you remember how to do that, we put 8, which was my first denominator, and 12, and just like we found the least common multiple, we set up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, start by going up to 6. If you need to go more, go more, but hopefully we can find it before we get to 6. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Ding, ding, ding. Look at that. We got it. 24 is my least common multiple, or it's my least common denominator. So let's take a look. We have 5 eighths. That equals something over 24. 8 times what is 24? 8 times 3. So we have to times the numerator by, not 5, by 3. 5 times 3 is 15. So 5 eighths is going to equal 15 twenty fourths. So what about 7 twelfths? 7 twelfths equals something over 24 times 2 times 2. Because 12 times 2 is 24, 7 times 2 is 14. So now what we're going to do is we are going to compare 15 twenty fourths to 14 20 fourths. So, just to repeat the steps that we did. We found a least common denominator. Now we change the fractions to be equivalent with least common denominators. And the last step is, what we have to do is compare the numerator. So, I have 15 as a numerator. I have 14 as a numerator. 15 is larger than 14, so the little alligator is going to eat 15. So going back up here, 5 eighths, 7 twelfths, it would rather have 5 eighths. And we'll just fill it in there as well. Perfect. So let's try another one. <clears throat> this time, we are going to compare two thirds and three ninths. And I'm just going to rewrite it to make it look like a fraction better than this. 2 thirds and 3 ninths. Okay, step one, we have to find the least common denominator. So I'm going to take my denominators, 3 and 9, and I'm going to put them here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. Ooh, I have a feeling we can stop there because 9 times 1 is 9. There is my least common denominator. Perfect. So, now what we have to do is make them with denominators of 9. So I have 2 thirds equal something over 9. How do I get from 3 to 9? Times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, so we times the numerator by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So my first fraction is going to be 6 ninths. Now here I have 3 ninths. Since that already has 9 as the denominator, we really don't have to do anything. So we're really just going to compare 6 ninths 
and three ninths. Compare the numerators. Six is larger, so we're going to eat the six. And therefore, up here, we are going to eat the two thirds. Perfect. I have one for you to try on your own. This is one sixth. One sixth and 15 eighteenths. Remember step one, find the least common denominator. Step two, make equivalent fractions using the least common denominator. And step three, compare the numerators. If you forget a step, watch back the last two examples I gave. It'll show you step by step how to do it. Let's move on to the next. This time we're going to talk about comparing fractions, decimals, and percents. First, change the fractions and percents to decimals. Second, compare the decimals. So, when you're dealing with percents, it's much easier to change everything to decimals and then just compare the decimals. Let me show you a couple of examples. Okay, here I have 3 fourths compared to 7 tenths. Now, if you remember, what I said was just change everything to decimals. So, 3 fourths and 0 0.7. All right. How do I change that to a decimal? Well, you divide the numerator by the denominator. We'll do a little work over here. 3 divided by 4. It can't go in, so we'll put a decimal, put our decimal, annex to 0. 4 goes into 30 seven times. 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract, that is 2, annex to 0, drop it. 20, 4 goes into 25 times. 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract, we are at zero. Perfect. So three fourths is really just decimal point seven five. And we're going to compare that to decimal point seven. Now I left off the zero because it's basically saying there's nothing in the ones place. So now let's compare. I see seven and seven, those are equal. So then I move to five and there's nothing there. Now if you remember with, with decimals, you can annex zeros at the end and it means the same thing. So really, we're comparing 7 and 7 is equal. Now we're comparing 5 and 0. Which one's larger? The 5 is larger. So we are going to eat decimal point 75, which means we're going to eat 3 fourths. Let me show you another example. This time, we're going to use percents. So here I have 42% compared to decimal point four four or forty four hundredths. Remember I said the best way to do it is to change the percents to decimals. So let's do it. The decimals here, to the left, to the left. So we are at decimal point four two compared to decimal point four four. And again I just left the zero off because there's nothing in the ones place. So now let's compare. Four and four are equal. 2 and 4, mm, I'd rather have the 4, so we're going to, alligator's going to eat that way, perfect, this one here is one for you to do. Now if you forget how to do it, rewatch how we did the last ones, just remember, change that percent to a decimal, try your best and we'll see you in class. All right, I said I wasn't going to throw anything, so I guess maybe I'll throw the camera at the screen this time. Ready, set, 